Greetings, learners. This presentation will be on basic agricultural genetics and agricultural sciences for grade 12 learners. The most important thing you need to know about this topic is the terminology. That is the concept. The first thing uh, we need to focus on uh, is genetics. So genetics refers to the study of heredity. And heredity refers to the transfer of characteristics from parents to offspring. For example, you might see a calf with a, a white coat color similar to the mother, which also has the white coat color. That means there was a transfer of characteristics from the mother to the offspring, which is a coat color in this case. And then we also have the gene. A gene is a section of a DNA molecule that carries information about a particular characteristic of an individual. And a gene is located in a chromosome. A, a position in a chromosome where a gene is located is called the locus. We also have uh, the alleles. The alleles are different forms of a gene. For example, our gene will be about a, a height, a color, or a shape. Then alleles are expressed or represented in a form of letters. So those letters, it can be a dominant, a, a capital letter or a small letter. We also have the homozygous. Homozygous refers to an organism which has similar alleles for a particular gene. For example, if those uh, letters we're talking about in alleles are both capital letters, that means it is homozygous because they are in similar form. But if those uh, letters are in different forms, meaning they are heterozygous. Heterozygous means different, for, different alleles for a particular gene. So these ones are, are heterozygous because we have a, a, a capital letter and a small letter. And the capital letter is referred to as a dominant allele. The small letter is referred to as a, 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 a recessive allele. So this is a heterozygous a, a state. We also have the genotype. A genotype refers to the co a genetic composition of an individual. And a genotype has an influence on the phenotype of an individual. A phenotype, which is the physical appearance of an individual. A genotype cannot be seen, a, a, but a phenotype, you can see a phenotype. A phenotype is the physical appearance of an individual. So continuing, we have different types of inheritances. We have two types of inheritances that we'll be focusing on. We have the monohybrid inheritance. We also have the dihybrid inheritances. These inheritances are associated with two laws of Mendel. Mendel uh, conducted a, 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 an experiment on peas and decided to come up with two laws. Mendel's laws of segregation and also the Mendel's laws of independent assortment. The monohybrid inheritance is the one that is associated with the Mendel's laws of segregation. So uh, when it comes to the, the, the monohybrid inheritance, the monohybrid inheritance is a genetic cross between two parents which involves a single characteristic. For example, the characteristics that we'll be talking about will be, for example, let's say a height. A height a, a, is transferred in this manner. So a, in a monohybrid inheritance that is a, associated with the Mendel's laws in inheritance, we're also focusing on a height, maybe on a shape or a, a, a fair coat. And then we also have the second one, which is a dihybrid inheritance. A dihybrid inheritance is a genetic cross between two parents, which involves two characteristics. It can be a, a combination of a height and a shape, a height and a color. So that is a dihybrid inheritance, which is associated with the Mendel's laws of inheritance. And then there are illustrations that are done to show these inheritances. <coughs> For example, let's start with a, the monohybrid inheritance. In a, in a monohybrid in inheritance, you can be given a statement or a question to illustrate the transfer of these characteristics, the inheritance of these characteristics. For example, in this uh, statement, we're given a statement that in a certain species of plants, blue flower, which is dominant over the, uh, the, the purple color, uh, is crossed 
with a, another plant. So we have two plants here, a, a blue flower color dominant, a purple color is recessive as it is shown by the adults. Now we had this a heterozygous blue flower which is crossed with a homozygous blue flower, heterozygous purple flower. We are required to draw a Punnett square to indicate the results of a cross between the two. In a monohybrid cross, we draw a Punnett square. In agricultural sciences, when we draw a Punnett square, we use a, a square, and then two lines down inside the square, and also two lines across inside the square. And then inside the first square, you only write gametes, gametes, and you have to know that we have two symbols. This is a symbol representing the female. This is a symbol representing the male. So you need to know these symbols. Now, coming back to the, to the question, dry panel square indicating the results of a cross between the two plants. So we have the gametes. Then uh, we have the one which is heterozygous. That means we'll have a capital letter B and a small letter B because it is heterozygous. We also have the one which is in a homozygous state. We're gonna have a small letter B and a small letter B. They are in a, a, a recessive state. So now there is fusion between the two, the fertilization. So we're gonna cross the dominant allele with the recessive allele and give us a heterozygous state. We're gonna cross a recessive and a recessive. They are homozygous, again, a recessive and a dominant allele, heterozygous state. And then we have the last one, a hom recessive and also recessive, that is the Punnett square, correct Punnett square uh, in agricultural sciences. So in terms of the genotypic ratio of the, uh, of the possible offspring, we have two heterozygous individuals and two homozygous individuals. In terms of the phenotypic ratio, we have two black individuals and also two purple individuals. That is the phenotypic ratio. Sometimes you can be given a question to determine the ratio of the black offspring uh, in, the f in, th in this first filial generation. When you are determining a the percentage of the offspring, we have two individuals that are, are, are blue in this, in this filial generation. So we'll say two divided by the total number of individuals, they are four, because this is a percentage times 100. So that's how we determine the percentage. So it will give us an answer of 50%. Uh, that is, there is 50% individuals with a blue color, sorry, not black color, with a blue color, right? So that's how you determine a, that's how you determine the percentage in agricultural sciences and also the genotypic and, and the phenotypic ratio. Thank you very much.